Gracie there? Oh, it's on. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. <laughs> I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine?
think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. On the man. down. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Got a scan? Should be a lot quicker than the way in.
was killed. Was it trying to defend its family? I'll check it out.
So what was in there? Good job.
Hey there, little guy. Pass the test. So you knew about BD1? Come Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli weed fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. What's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. 
But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yeah. Instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. Later, Cal. Please. Let's plot a course. Setting course for Dathomir. Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. He must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of Force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They used the Force? What, like Jedi? No. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid.